Greetings and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. How are you? What a gorgeous day today is since yesterday we had the eclipse and uh, oh wow that so many people have an incredible reaction. Um, I know I did a post uh, and uh, I had a lot of people talk about their experience, their energy of what happened and how they felt. I, for myself, thought um, after looking with the glasses and everything within few moments, it was like my entire energy got zapped. I was like down. Uh, I felt like just something just took out of me and... It, it was in shutdown for me, and it lasted until about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But so many other people said that they got energized. And what does that really say about us? We are all so unique. We're so different. And one person gets zapped, another person gets energized, but it's all good. That's what living is all about. That's what I love about experiencing. Experiencing being live, experiencing life. The good, the bad, the right, the wrong, it doesn't matter. Bottom line is when we cut our finger, we all bleed the same. We do. It's the same color of blood, and it is blood. We don't bleed anything different. Um, and I know years and years ago, I saw this interview that it was with uh, Julia Roberts, and they said, so what do you say about your fame, your celebrity status, and that every woman is looking up to you, so many want to be just like you, and she gave the most beautiful answer. Well, it was not beautiful in the sense. She said, you know what? I don't know about being special because we all go to the bathroom the same way. And I think that is not only a celebrity, but any status, any title that we give to ourselves or we come to believe or that ego part of us thinks that we are either above or less. We're just human with different experiences, feelings, um, challenges. Here's an example I would like to give. I was talking to a very good friend of mine and uh, we had not talked for about a month and a half. And which is rare because we usually talk every week and a half to two weeks. And I said, wow, it's been a long time. And how are you doing? She says, well, you could have given me a call as well. I know you've been going through your stuff, but I was having my own challenges at home and I didn't want to bother you. When we talk about challenges, and we get so engrossed in our life. And her challenges was not necessarily about her, but her children. The children going to doctors and one of her daughters breaking up with her boyfriend and having all that emotional meltdown that she thought she was going to get engaged with. Every single one of us has a challenge in life. Some of us is about relationship. Others are work, money, maybe even parents, the seniors that we take care of and their challenges. Or it could be just relationships, even going through cancer. So today is truly about embracing that part of us, no matter what challenges we face. 
because I'd like to take those challenges and say, it's like waves in the ocean. And of course, if we don't know how to swim, <laughs> there is no way that we can even conceive the thought of being in the ocean in the waves and that those waves coming and splashing because all we think about is what happens if one wave comes and I get into a panic situation, I can't breathe and the wave engulfs on top of me and I am pushed under and I can't breathe and then I'll get into this anxiety, I'll have an anxiety attack and then when I can't breathe, I'm going to suffocate and I am going to drown. Wow. You see? It's the incredible stories that we make and we create. And we're nowhere near the ocean. We are nowhere, anywhere. Maybe you are. But I bet you anything, if you are listening to me, if you're watching this, you're not in the ocean. So for us to create such incredible scenarios, we come from fear-based. And it's all that. It's fear-based. It's the story that we create, which I like to call it, what is your BS, right? And it's not a BS. Well, it could be a BS that you're telling yourself. But BS, in my language, is your belief system. It's the belief story. What's your story? Before you even take one step, do you create this scenario of failure and create this fear base and live in that fear base before you even took one step to get in your car, perhaps, drive to the ocean, stand way from far and look at the, the beauty and the grandeur of the ocean? That is truly three-fourths of the earth is water, just like our body. We don't say, oh, my God, I've got all this water in my body, and I know it's all water, and I'm not going plop, plop. How come I'm not draining in my own body, knowing that it's all liquid and water, blood? <laughs> We don't. We don't drain in our body. We don't drown in the ocean either because we haven't even stepped into it. But our feelings, our emotions are just like that. And the waves that truly come, just imagine, it's the same water that comes from above when you are standing. Where? in the shower that cleanses and washes and clears and you wash your head and you wash your scalp and every time you put your fingers on your scalp you massage it with 10 fingers and the the soap you put it in there you shampoo it and you even smell we are so picky even buying our shampoo that we open it and we smell it is this the way i want my hair to smell right? And the sud, we wash it, wash it, wash it to make sure that it's clean and clear, that it's not sticking to our hair, because even that will give you an itch. And if we were to step back at this very moment, just listen. Listen to your body talk. Do you have a pain? Where in your body is your pain? Is your head aching? Do you have a pain, emotional pain in your heart? Feeling lonely and sad, hurt by someone? Are you sad for being alone?
Is there a pain in your body, a wound that has not healed as of today? Is there a habit that you have been holding onto and for whatever reason you are holding to that story that you cannot change that habit? Hmm. So when we think about it, it's what is it that we are holding on to? It could be weight, it could be a habit, it could be a behavior. Are you willing to take a challenge and say yes to yourself and stand up for yourself and realize that so many times in your life you've said, this is the day that I will. This is the day, even during a like first week of the year, you say, I'm making a resolution that I am going to start doing this. Well, resolutions, truly, when we make resolutions for a new year, how many of us truly keep it? And instead of resolutions, if we make choices one day at a time. And last week I talked about this challenge that it's going to start within a week. And I want you to step up and stand up for yourself and be part of this challenge. 33 days of doing one day at a time. One day. One step. One moment. One minute. One second at a time. And say yes to yourself. Why? Because I'm going to teach you techniques. And I want to teach you techniques that you can, if you have a pain in your body, that you take control of that pain. And from, let's say, if your pain is at, at a point of zero, no pain, to 10 being excruciating pain. And I mean excruciating pain. And what is excruciating pain? If you had excruciating pain at this very moment, you would not be watching me because you would be so engrossed in that pain. But how about if you had a pain of, let's say, six or seven, and we can bring that pain down to three, that it's more manageable. If you have a heartache, an emotional pain that has been paining you in your heart, that you can overcome that pain. And if there is a habit that you want to change, either becoming thinner, sleeping longer, having less anxiety, stop um, eating more, binging, stop drinking, as many as much or you truly want to make a magnificent change in your life and i know you can you become a part of this challenge with me so why am i doing this now because i too just like you i'm going to step up my own game i'm going to take my own challenge and be there with you every step of the way. How's that? September is one of my busiest months. And I am looking forward to it. And yet, it's like, oh my God, I'm doing something that I'm going to be challenging myself instead of just teaching and being there. But it's being there for me as much as being there for you. And I promise to do that. So that all the BSs, which is the belief systems and the belief stories that we held on to and we created and we have been holding on to, together we can let go. I have three events in September, weekend, three, four day events. And then I have a retreat that I am going to. But my promise is that during all this, Every single day, I'm going to show up for all of you who take part of this challenge. 
I'm going to help you help yourself. Because you can. I'm just a guide and I'm going to hold space for you. I can't do anything to you. No one can do anything to you unless you give yourself permission. Permission to stand up for yourself and have a voice. Permission to stand tall and say, yes, I matter. Permission to build your self-esteem. And by having self-esteem, you have more confidence to do anything you want. Confidence is learned. Self-esteem is something you've always had from the time that you were born. And now... We reconnect you so that you can tap within and reawaken who you are. How do I do this? By helping you evoke what was, remembering who you are, embracing who you are and your reality today, this very moment, and every single day, looking forward to taking that one step of coming closer to your dream, what you imagine, what you want, and evolving together, evolving to what it is your desired goal. Because at the end of 33 days, you will have accomplished something that you had not even thought of. That I... And anyone will be there for you every single day as a support system, as a guide, as you call it, um, tools, technique, person, um, whatever it is. We create this tribal connection of knowing it's time to open your heart. Hmm. Say yes to your body and remember everything we do in life is truly to honor your body. It's listening to your body talk. It's healing the wounds from the inside into the outside. Mm -hmm. To stand up and say to your body, yes, I can. Yes, I will. Yes, I am. When we want to make any change, it starts from the gut. We touch our belly. Where is the beginning of life? And everything starts from here. Even at this very moment, feeling that tingling sensation of something is a possibility. That possibility is you. That possibility is you. You are the one who does the work. You're the one who stands up for yourself. You're the one who says yes to you. You're the one that taps within and says, I matter and I am good enough. You raise your own bar and I only guide you. I hold space for you. And I show up standing beside you. Sometimes behind you. So you can lean upon me. And perhaps if you need to, I will even do this. Stand in front of you to protect you. But once you... Have that self-esteem. Once you find that you can take this challenge and you will complete this challenge of 33 consecutive days. See, it has to be consecutive. You will know that you are a success. And once you build one success, it becomes so much easier for you to build more and more success from that. You elevate yourself. That's what I've been doing, working for over two decades, not over, but come end of 
September, it will be approximately 20 years I've been doing this. And this is my way of celebrating myself and celebrating with you. I've been doing clinical hypnotherapy, stress management, and action coaching for over a decade, almost two decades soon. But today is the day that I am owning it more than ever before. And this will be my first challenge as I share it with you, as I to unveil to freedom. Oh, you see the scarf that I have? Mm. This scarf this scarf that I truly love and it is this woman that is in darkness and it's a chiffon silk scarf where on this beautiful scarf it's my writings and my quotes and one of my quotes it says right here in the midst of darkness find your inner light you matter our eyes are not only to see but to project what we witness so i will be witness to your success and so will a whole tribe that will come together but when you stand up for yourself all you have to do is truly look in the mirror and say yes to yourself and smile and be proud of you because there is nothing more important in life than self-pride so I created this because when I put this either when I veil myself and I truly love it hmm? or when I have it as a scarf and if I am wearing this and I come across another person who is in darkness and feels depressed I help her or him, especially her, to raise her chin so she can see the light above. And I take it from me and I put it upon her so that she can be a witness to her freedom and be ready to unveil. You can be the best that you want. And even at this very moment, let us take a moment. Close your eyes for just a second. And as you breathe in and out easily, say thank you for being present right here, right now. Being grateful that you have a sound mind, a loving heart, and a strong body. And it will become stronger. And you will open your heart and become more loving towards yourself first. And your mind will become more sharp. 
And every single day you become better feeling, more loving, nurturing, and compassionate for this incredible person that you are. If there is a pain, ask your pain. And be one with that pain, with that wound, and be with it so vividly, so one, that as you become one with that pain, the pain itself becomes a part of you. That if you are screaming because of that pain, because of all that you are hurting, you become a part of that sound the feeling that the pain, the hurt fades away. And you become more of who you are. So as you breathe in and out easily and gently, Validating every experience in your life that has brought you to this very moment. And that you are ready to be a witness to your own unveiling and becoming. Say thank you. There is no experience in our life that has truly hurt us or has been there as a negative or bad. We can change that story and see all the good in it. All the good that has come out of it and the good that will come out of it. So at this very moment, what does it mean to heal within? It's the same thing that I started on this journey. And bless his heart, my father would say, this is the longest relationship you've had. <laughs> it's uh, the longest relationship or being at work having a career i've changed so many careers that this truly if it was not my calling i made it into my calling because that's how i healed i healed through hypnotherapy and changed the career from wanting to be an attorney into becoming a hypnotherapist. And that is what I do. It is not who I am. Your work, your behaviors, your habits are not who you are. They are just the way you behave, the way you respond, the way you act, and the what it's what you do and where you go. So let us honor our body because once our body heals, we heal. When your core is solid and loving and feels safe, you feel safe. I hope today's message was beneficial to you. And... I'm going to take this moment and see if there is any questions that I may be able to answer and say hello to. Hi, Liz. Jasmine. Hi, sweetie. Okay. We're going to do this challenge together. And I'm going to be with you. And I love you for saying yes to yourself. Love you, Jassy. And you know who you are. Uh, I'm taking the challenge for yourself. There you go. Alina, love this. 
sweetheart. I know a person like that. <laughs> that is very true. Yes. Thank you, all of you, for uh, joining and being a part of this week's Heal Talk Tuesday. Be ready to unveil. Be ready to be a part of saying yes to yourself. And if I do see you, uh, you never know. There's going to be lots of gifts a part of that is going to be a part of this challenge. And hello, Robert. Hi, Michael. I'm Peek. Hello, Ty. How are you? Uh, thank you for all of you being a part of this. And I, if you believe this message is been beneficial, then go ahead and share it with someone else. Share it and post it on your page so that your friends can join you and be part of Heal Talk Tuesdays. Until next week. Oh, and tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Wonder Wednesday. I wonder what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> so until we meet again, thank you. Look forward to connecting with you again and bring it on. Love all your questions and you can message me. Talk to you soon. Ciao.